reading the Antigone, what the translator Seamus Haney chose to call the burial at Thebes. Um, he has reasons for that, but but I, I suppose it's not really relevant to what we're doing. Uh, we have a very complex situation in the Antigone and at the beginning of the Antigone, both dramatically and uh, thematically. But the complex situation dramatically is that we have a lot of background events. Uh, Oedipus, I wouldn't know if he's died. He, he, he kind of just disappears, but he, he's gone. Oedipus has either died or gone off with the gods or whatever happens at the end of Oedipus at Colonus. And uh, his sons have f fought each other over the crown, that is, who is to actually succeed him. And one son uh, raises an army, uh, Polynices, and uh, brings it to Thebes to, to, to conquer Thebes and to install himself as king. His brother, uh, uh, Teocles, uh, is defending Thebes. And, and they kill each other in battle, and, and the, the invading army is defeated, and, and in the aftermath, Creon is next in line and becomes king of Thebes. It's all very sort of, yes, complex. And adding to the complexity, of course, is the fact that Oedipus is, did what he did, and that Antigone and Ismene, the surviving children of Oedipus, are, are left in the sort of devastating aftermath, not only of the shame uh, of their father and the shame of realizing that they themselves are the product of incest, but the, uh, the deaths of their brothers. They're all alone now. The thematic complexity you can see for yourself. Um, this amazing dialogue between the two sisters emerges as something um, that has all these different factors. Uh, Creon apparently has let it be known that, that, that the body of what he calls the traitor, Polynices, is to be left outside the city gates to rot, to not be given uh, funeral rites. And Antigone, uh, the man's sister, uh, calls upon his mene to uh, help her do what they can to give him such rights. And, and that, of course, puts her on a collision course with Creon and all sorts of themes about family uh, obligation, about religious obligation, about the authority of the state, and especially about the, um, the place of being a woman. Um, as you'll see, as Mene, one of the things as Mene points out is that as women, they can't hope to succeed in defying authority. That is just unthinkable. Um, as she says, we're weak where they are strong. Whether it's this or worse, we must do as we're told. Uh, and Antigone's uh, fiery uh, and unbending rejection of that, rejection of you know the notion that she is weak, and rejection of the notion that somehow or another Creon has some sort of right to do what he's done. Rejection of the idea that Creon can order that her brother's body uh, not be buried, in which the whole thing, you know, again, this collision course uh, between Antigone and Creon seems inevitable. <laughs>